Schomburg, uh, the Code of Prince of Art. And lastly, I'm the House Film and 31 of 98 Radio Silence. Jason lives, you know, which is kind of broad. 
So the challenge to myself was to mix something like that with those stereotype characters, like the cheerleader, and the, the jock, and so on, and uh, try and get that into a, a more of a reality-based uh, format, like the found footage. Um, so that's me. Um, what, it, Helen, are you here? Yeah. Helen? Nice to work. Yeah. Oh, she walked out. Oh. She, she, um, <laughs> <laughs> that actress, I, I did the Skype one. Oh, Helen, is that you? Yeah. Oh, Helen, who played Emily in the Skype one, too. Do you want to come out? becomes more prevalent when we thought we could sort of attack the idea of found footage and doing it by having it be recorded off of the computer and sort of involve this long distance relationship idea. Um, and then we actually, we took it one step further because then we actually shot the, what you saw on laptops. There was no cameras involved. Um, it was a real, like in real time, the actors were acting together and they're actually doing it via Skype. So um, that was, uh, and to do something Alien ghosty. Yeah, we, we like glad we also got a bit of an assignment. I mean, it's interesting because I, I did that kind of Adam. We did that in February, and that was the first thing that was done for this. I kind of set the tone of the project. The thing I did with Joe was the last thing that was done. And by that time, I'd seen what everyone else had done. I was like, oh, we need to do something with much less chaotic. Um, but the idea they gave us was they wanted to do an alien abduction movie, and that was a that was our version of that. Um, <laughs> I already saw what's that. Who have names? Oh, yeah, I'm Tyler, Matt, Jeff, I'm Chad. <laughs> um, I, I think that sort of the, I guess the, like the seed of the idea for us was that we wanted to make something about good dudes that just kind of end up getting screwed in the end. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was really that simple. Like, we wanted to tell a story about, about guys that were kind of like us. And, and we just wanted a whole lot of things that act so much like us that they actually look a lot like us. <laughs> and, and we just wanted to, we wanted to tell a really simple story about, about some really average guys that, would, that are going off on a really simple adventure, just like you know, any number of us have on a Halloween night. Uh, and then just really sort of put them in a situation that is absolutely uh, that they're absolutely not equipped to deal with, and um, and sort of explore how they how they navigate that. And uh, I mean, the, the real the real big thing for us was right at the halfway mark when they sort of realized that the party isn't at the party um, to really just pack every second of the you know the, the the second half of the project with like crazy action. Thanks to Justin Martinez, our VFX guy, who created all that awesome. Stuff. assembled in a different order. And um, and originally when we had uh, done the wraparound, it was compensating for like four shorts? We, we thought we would have three or four, yeah. When we first shot the wraparound, we thought we'd have three or four shorts. Uh, we ended up with five. That's the short answer, but there's more to it. So whenever we, we watched the first cut, it originally ended with, you know, the radio sound short, and then it went back to the wraparound. But whenever I saw it, like the intensity of the radio silence thing, you know, with like the train coming in, I, you know, I, I immediately would just like turned to the producers and was just like, you know, the movie ends right there at the train, so let's just, you know, figure. And plus, it kind of helped us, you know, be able to manage the in between moments of the found or the uh, the wraparound stuff. So it kind of like it kind of just became one of those things where it just had the most momentum at the end, and so we just kind of moved things around to, uh, you know, to the present. Yeah, so then at the last minute we went and licensed uh, that death set song and did a little kind of credit montage that would be like the videos that the guys make of themselves assaulting people on the street. Um, that the wraparound got a little like more nonsensical. But it just felt like the right ending for the film. Yeah, Adam, Adam felt really strongly that the radio sound said so short sure was so strong that it should have been the movie. Um, you, you, sir, you, sir? Yeah, um, 
maybe just to us as film leaders here, we obviously recognize that you shot those on a variety of cameras. Maybe to the general public that won't really, it'll kind of flow better, but why did you choose VHS to show all these amendments? Obviously, it was shot on a laptop, and how does it kind of get on the VHS tapes?